Sebastian Mil Martinez, MMA Note, here with Gegard, the Dreamcatcher Musasi, who faces Mark Munoz in the main event at UFC Fight Night Berlin on Saturday night. So, you're fighting in Europe, home, your adopted home continent now. How are you feeling about that? I feel good. I have friends, family coming visit, uh, visiting uh, to see the fight, so uh, it's good. Uh, short travel. I feel in shape. Yeah. Uh, your, the beginning of your UFC career, it was a little bit rocky, you know, your opponent got changed when you got injured and uh, sort of a lot of things just seemed a little bit uneven. Now it seems like you're sort of maybe becoming a bit more comfortable, getting used to things. Do you think that's a correct statement? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, this is a fight uh, that I have to so show my skills and put myself in the top five uh, in the middleweight division. And just looking back at your last fight, I heard you talk about it a bit before, but if you could just reiterate, you know, unfortunately it didn't go your way, what would you like to have done differently? I think strategy and uh, game plan and uh, changing the way I was fighting in the fight because I was fighting the same as round one till round five. I think uh, if I would have done better, um, I think it wasn't like uh, I was getting beaten or anything. I think uh, game plan had to do a lot with it. And was there, did you notice anything about the fans booing you? Obviously, it's very popular in Brazil, but did, did you notice anything of that at all? Yeah, the Brazilian crowd is not very, um, I would say, respectful. And uh, obviously, I'm a fighter. Uh, I come in their country to fight, so at least show some respect. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, we'll go forward to the German fans then, who I think will treat you all right. You're facing Mark Munoz, a guy who's been in the UFC for a long time. He's had quite a few fights. How do you see him as an opponent, and where do you think he's most dangerous? Well, he's a, uh, he's a tough opponent. He always brings the fight, and uh, he's a wrestler. Uh, I think his strength is, of course, his wrestling and his ground and pound. And uh, he's a overall a tough opponent, and uh, for sure it's going to be a tough fight for me. And what have you done in training to make sure you avoid that bottom position? Well, if I get to the bottom, I'm going to try to stand up right back up. And uh, other than that, I've been working on my wrestling and my stand-up. So he has, he has to close the distance to, uh, to grab me, so it's going to be difficult. And so would you say that your uh, game plan is to keep a fight on the feet? For sure, but uh, if the fight goes on the ground, I have no problems fighting there. I, I don't feel I've come anything short on the ground. You both have uh, you're the last same opponent, and you both lost to Machida, but you went five rounds with him, whereas he got knocked out. Do you think that gives you some kind of a mental advantage that you sort of managed to hold out longer against the next champ? No, it's a different fight. Uh, you had tough fights where you went to three rounds. It, it doesn't say anything. So it was also too short to say anything. So I don't uh, take anything from that fight. Now, you're, you're pretty popular and your popularity is growing, especially now with another main event fight. And it's a small world because one of my best friends happens to be one of your biggest fans. So uh, I have a question from one of your fans, Kiko the Ghost Ayub. He wants to know, as a fighter who has gone down in weight class, you're fighting guys more your size. What's your advice to fighters who maybe haven't made that leap down, who are fighting taller fighters, bigger fighters? What advice do you have to guys that are a little smaller? Well, you know, if you're the lighter guy, you have a speed advantage. Uh, you see with some fighters, they take advantage of that. Frank Edgar and the last fight, uh, TJ, what was his name? TJ Yeah, he was lighter, he was more movable. So it doesn't, make, it doesn't say you're going to win a fight if you're the heavier, bigger guy. but it gives size advantage is always good and strength, but you know, it depends what kind of style of fighter you are. If you're very quick and agile, you can use the speed and have less weight, it's gonna work for you. So it depends on the fighter, yeah. And how do you see yourself winning this fight on Saturday night? Well, stand up or ground and pound or submission. I, I feel like um, I can win the fight anywhere, yeah. And he's ranked pretty highly. If you beat him, do you think that you deserve a title shot? Me? Uh, no. Uh, I think uh, there's, because middleweight is very stacked now and you have so many fighters now. And um, so I feel I'm going to be around top five, a little bit down top five if I win. Maybe seven, something like that. So I need at least two, two more good wins, I believe. Yeah. I'm sure our fans are looking forward to see those fights, win, lose, or draw, no matter what. This is Sebastian Miller Martinez, MMA Nate here with Gegard Musasi, who faces Mark Munoz in the main event of UFC Fight Night Berlin on Saturday night. Thank you very much and good luck. Thank you.